Tim. Welcome to this old arcade. Today we're uh, repairing the Neo Geo boards. Um, I've got a that's an MV-1 uh, single slot board here that's coming up with a uh, work ram error. Uh, this board is kind of cool. It's just a single slot. It has this little thing that plugs in here, then your cartridge goes in uh, parallel to the motherboard. Um, I've identified, um, uh, it's going to be one of these two RAM chips here, uh, it's positions uh, H3 and HG, or G3 and H3, uh, so you have G and H, and this is 3 here, so it's one of those two. Uh, there's surface mount. We're going to go through and pull these chips off and then put some new ones on and kind of show you the process that, that I use for doing that. Alright, so um, <clears throat> these are the two chips uh, we're going to pull. Um, I'm using this, um, it's a number four uh, desoldering wick. I'll basically <clears throat> lay that wick along the pins, uh, run my iron along there, um, and just soak up all the solder. Um, and it's kind of a process of going over it a few times, making sure not to heat the board up too much. And then uh, it, even sometimes you have to go in and uh, kind of snip the little pins if uh, if it doesn't want to lift up off the, uh, the motherboard. So we'll go ahead and get started here. Sorry if my hands are in the way of the, the video. I'm going to try to keep it out of the way here best I can. This iron I'm using, um, it's switchable from uh, 20 watt to uh, 130 watt. Um, when I'm lifting anything like this, I'm going to use the, the switch to switch it to 130 watts. That way I don't have to leave the iron on the board for too long. I don't like to do surface mount chips, um, especially when it sees larger, larger ones. But uh, smaller ones like these Rams aren't too bad. some of the wick here, <clears throat> make it a little easier to work with. Okay. Okay, we're getting closer here. Just got to be patient and uh, get, get as much of that solder as you can before you try lifting the chip at all. Um, you can you can pull the pads away from the uh, the circuit board, and uh, it's very very difficult to repair at that point. Okay, I got one side lifted here. Um, I'm going to try to gently lift up the other side and run my iron along here to keep 
Clean the pads up and make it flat for the new chip. Okay, that's one side clean. And there's the second side clean. Start on the second chip. All right, we got this uh, second chip undone here. Let me clean those pads up. In some respects, this is easier than um, unsoldering a uh, a hole through chip. Um, just because the, sometimes the hole through chips, the pins are really tight in the holes and it's really difficult to get all the solder out if, if the holes are really tight. But uh, the drawback is the traces are so small and um, the, even the pins on the chips are so small, it's hard. You've got to make sure everything's lined up just perfectly. All right, let's. Uh, Get the new chips out here, and then we'll we'll put the new ones on. Okay, we got the the new RAM chips here in their uh, static packages. Um, orientations just like a regular uh, hole through chip. Um, the little. Um, Little half circles uh, indicates pin one up over here, and then the dot on the chip also indicates pin one. Once we get that situated there, I like to take a while to look at it, make sure it's nice and square, and that uh, the pins on the chip are parallel to the pads on the motherboard and then once I get that positioned I'll, uh, I'll tack uh, two of the corners to hold everything in place. And once again I'm sorry if my, my hands are in the way of the camera. solder on there right now. I'll go back later with the uh, desoldering wick and kind of remove excess. If you get any pins shorted to one another, it's not too terribly bad because you can always clean it up. It just takes practice to get um, 
get kind of a working technique. So just kind of hold on. Pastors kind of in my way. Once you're at this point, you don't really have to worry about the chip shifting around or wipe some of that excess. All right, we got these uh, two new chips uh, soldered in here. Um, I've checked uh, to make sure there's no shorts, and uh, we'll uh, clean that up with some uh, circuit board cleaner, and uh, we'll test the board out, see if we got it uh, fixed. all back together and got our uh, got a metal slug X put in there. Uh, gonna plug it into my tester cabinet here into the JAMA harness and then uh, flip the power on. Let's see what we have. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, that's great. My uh, screen needs to be degaussed, but uh, yeah, that's got a you know, break up in the graphics and it all looks good. Well, thanks for joining us here at uh, this old arcade. Um, we got a few more of these Neo Geo uh, boards to go through, and we got a, a two slot and a four slot. Uh, anyhow, uh, just thought it'd be interesting for everybody to see uh, replacing one of the Black Mac ICs. Well, until next time, uh, thanks for joining us.